This tutorial will show you how to create branching quest trees. Many people want the ability to create two quests and only allow one of them to be completed. For example, the players are given a tough choice. A war is breaking out and they can defend the north gate or flee to a nearby stronghold. At first glance at the DM tools, this appears impossible. However, it is possible to create a mutually exclusive location reveal by exploiting the fact that monsters lose all of their queued quest items upon death. So, to do this, I've created three quests. The first one is a blocker quest. If you look at this, the blocker quest literally does nothing. There's no way to complete it. It gives no lo new locations, it gives no rewards. Um, I've created a second quest, Flee to Womford. Again, this quest will not be completable. However, upon cre uh, completing it, we'll have Escape to Womford, a location revealed to the players. The third one, Defend the Gate. We are going to have, uh, again, nothing special, but Defend the Gate location will appear when the players are given this quest. The next thing we do is we place the blocker quest on two monsters. Uh, so I have a monster here called the Defend the Gate. It's a spider egg, so it's really easy to destroy. So we add the blocker quest, and we set it to on kill to give the quest. And then we're going to add flee, uh, yeah, flee to Womford as the second thing. So if the players choose to kill this egg second, they will get the flee to Womford quest. All right, and so then we have this other egg, flee to Womford. And what we're going to do is we put the blocker quest. Uh, and we do an on kill, we're going to give this. And then we're going to have the defend the gate be the second one. So on killing it, we're going to give the quest. Uh, let me make sure I did on kill on both of these ones here. Yes, on kill. All right. So when the players encounter this area, I have an object here called the Dungeon Master. And the Dungeon Master is going to tell the adventurers they must make a difficult choice. Um, if they destroy the, the nearest egg first, they will defend the gates. And if they destroy the further egg first, they flee to Womford. All right, so let's save this and test it out. Uh, let me make sure this is the starting area real quick. Uh, forest path, edit location, this is the starting location. And we will also check another thing, these are not visible to the player initially. Um, and this is just a leftover thing from when I was testing. Alright, so let's save and test this. Branching quest test, save. And now I will load up a quick uh, test to show you that we do in fact only get one of these. Branching quest test. I'm going to go ahead and load this. And we'll start. So this is a little bit clunky, but you are able to achieve uh, some branching things if you would like to. So, I'm going to go ahead and just add a few characters here, make it super quick. Um, and so I'm going to choose to defend the gates. So if I just have all my characters kill this egg first. And then this egg. And I go to the world travel map. I now get the Defend the Gates option. So I will go ahead and do it one more time to show you if I wanted to do the second quest. Load it up here. So unfortunately you can't actually get branching dialogue, but 
uh, you can simulate it this way for now until branching dialog is available. All right, so if my characters choose to flee to Womford, we'll destroy that egg first. And the defend the gate Was second. That all? And now when I visit the travel, uh, the travel world travel map, I get escape to Womford. And the other location never appears. Uh, I hope this is useful to people, and thank you very much.